Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at equivalent ratios, which are similar to equivalent fractions. Uh, equivalent ratios will have the same value even if it looks different. So what you can do is we can rewrite this as a fraction. And to find equivalent ratios, you can either multiply or divide the numerator and denominator of this fraction by the same number. For example, uh, we can multiply both of these by 2, and that gives you 4, 6, uh, which is an equivalent fraction. I mean, excuse me, equivalent ratio. Or we could multiply it by, uh, let's say, 4. Okay. Notice that I'm multiplying numerator and denominator by the same number. That is key. So that gives us 8 twelfths, and we can rewrite it like this. Okay, That is the first example. In addition to multiplication, you can also divide. So I'll rewrite this ratio as a fraction, and I can divide the numerator and denominator uh, by the same number. So this would be 10 twelfths, which we can rewrite as 10 twelfths, or I could divide it by 4 because they're both divisible by 4, and that gives you, um, what is that, 5 6, okay? So the key is you can either multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator of the fraction that you create from the ratio will give you equivalent ratios. Now let's apply this to, uh, say, a little word okay, problem. Now let's look at this um, word problem. In Mr. B's class, there were, oops, there's a misspelling. There were three boys for every five girls. Which of the following groups has the same ratio? So let's go ahead and write this as a ratio, and I'm just going to write it as a fraction. So now we need to see which of these is an equivalent ratio. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm first going to take 12, and it needs to be, see how many times it's divisible by 3, and that is 4. So we know with equivalent ratios, then in order to be an equivalent ratio, the numerator and denominator must be e multiplied by the same number. So 3 times 4 is 12. So, so far we have the first part correct. 5 times 4 is 20, not 15. So A is not correct. So now let's look at number B. Okay, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take 12 divided by 3, and that is 4. So now I have 3 times 4 and 5 times 4. That equals 12, 20. So, yes, that is a check. Now we need to see if C is correct. Okay, so now I'm going to work C. Let me move this up just a little bit. And here we go with C. We have 18 divided by 3, which is 6. Okay, 3 times 6 and 5 times 6 equals 18 and that is 30. So this is correct also. So both the, the ratios 12, 20, and 18, 30 are equivalent to 3 over 5 or 3 to 5. Let's look at one more. Okay, a group consisting of 300 student, 320 students and 28 chaperones is going on a field trip. Which of the following groups has the same ratio? Of students to chaperones. So again, I'm going to go 320. I'm just going to write the ratio as a fraction. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of the same thing. I'm going to take 320 divided by 80. And 320 divided by 80 is 8, 16, 24 is 4. So now what I need to do is since this is larger than 80, I've got to go 320 divided by 4, and 80, excuse me, um, 28 divided by 4. And uh, let's see what this is. This is 80, and 28 divided by 4 is 8, 16, 7, 14 is 7. And so that, 8, 80 to 6 so this one is not correct. So now let's look at the next one. Now another way you could look at this is you know that 80 goes into 320 four times. So what you can do is you can take 80 
over 6. Multiply both of these by 4, and it has to equal 320 over 28. Well, the first one, 80 times 4 is 320, but 6 times 4 is um, 24. So again, that is incorrect. So now let me speed this up just a little bit and try the other two questions, uh, the other two answers. So now we have uh, 320 divided by 40, which is 8. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take 40. Am I still on here? 40 times 8 and 3 times 8. Okay. And when you multiply that, that ends up being 320 over 24. So that can't be correct. And now let's move on to our last one. We have, again, we have 320 divided by 80. We know that that's 4. So I'm going to take 80 times 4 and 7 times 4. And both of those, those equal 320 over 7, 14, 21, 28. And so, yes, that is indeed the correct equivalent ratio. So in summary, with an equivalent ratio, it's going to be either multiplied or divided the numerator and denominator by the same number. Thanks for watching and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.